Dear colleagues and friends, welcome to the Vice Chancellor's Prestige Online Function for Teaching and Learning for our 2020 Teaching Excellence Awards. It is an honor to introduce our Acting Vice Chancellor, Professor Linda Duplessis, and invite her to officially welcome participants and viewers. Thank you, Willie. Colleagues, a hearty word of welcome to this annual event where we recognize the efforts of academic staff at the Northwest University. When we held our previous event in March 2020, little did we know it would be one of the last social events the Northwest University would host without any reference to Zoom, HIRA, protocol and social distancing. But we all surprised ourselves with our ability to adapt and to still engage in teaching, learning and assessment in a totally different setup. This reminds me of a song of Bob Dylan that was released in 1964 with the following lyrics. The line it is drawn, the curse it is cast, the slow one now will later be fast, as the present now will later be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be lost, for the times they are changing. The fact that these words are still so relevant 50 years later reaffirms that steering change is part of our life. Technology advancements, the way we teach, what we teach and to whom all influence your role as a facilitator of learning. How we facilitate learning at a university is an evolving process, not a foolproof recipe. And I hope that you also benefited from participating in this process. If you wish to achieve excellence, you first need to be able to define it Excellence is a term that can mean different things to different people at different times. With COVID-19, we are forced to consider how can quality learning still be maintained in a new world. So COVID-19 forced all of us to step out of our comfort zones, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But the perception of excellence begins with a dream. Our dream at the Northwest University is to be an internationally recognized university in Africa, distinguished for engaged scholarship, social responsiveness and an ethic of care. However, 
Dreams will remain dreams if we don't know how to turn them into goals. History is filled with examples of how dreams connect with goals. Henry Ford dreamt of a car which anyone could afford to buy, which anyone could drive anywhere and which almost anyone could keep in good repair. And the Model T car was born. You have to dream before your dreams can come true. Yet, to dream is not enough. We do need a passion for our work if we wish to achieve some form of excellence. Excellence is shaped by people. It is you, our lecturers, who give the ultimate shape to the Northwest University dream. You practice what you believe to be excellent, and some of these practices will be adopted by others. Others will build forth on what you have started. And so, step by step, a dream comes true. I'm sure you can also testify that the journey of an academic has ups and downs, may sometimes involve trial and error, but the trajectory progresses towards excellence. If I ask you now, define excellence, I'm sure your responses will overlap, but there will be differences. What is important is that we need to measure excellence. Whilst moving away from only quantifiable measures, such as pass rate and success rate, as indicators of excellence, measuring the right thing can help us achieve focus, increase knowledge and further innovation. Lord Calvin said, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. Peter Drucker went further to say, what is measured improves. History is also filled with examples of how measurements motivated other people to improve their own performance. One famous example is probably that of Roger Bannister. When nobody believed a mile could be run in under four minutes, Roger busted through the four minute barrier with a time of three minutes, 59 and four tenths of a second. Once other athletes saw it could be done, they did it too. Just 46 days after Roger's victory, an Australian runner broke the record again. Then, just a year later, three runners broke the four minute barrier in a single race. Over the last half century, more than a thousand runners have conquered a barrier that had once been considered hopelessly out of reach. Therefore, we do need good performance indicators so that it can become the stepping stones for other people to improve on. I've heard many colleagues saying that the bar for an excellence award is raised year by year. In this way, excellence is a gradual result of always striving to do better. To all the participants in the 2020 process, thank you for making yourselves available. Also to be thanked are the Centre for Teaching and Learning and the academic peers involved in the evaluation process. Thank you for supporting the process by availing your time and expertise to evaluate and assess your peers. We realize that we are having turbulent times in the country and especially the higher education environment. We applaud you for the commitment to participate in this process, for embracing feedback so you can become even better at what you are already good at. Remember, criticism is something we can only avoid easily by saying nothing and doing nothing. In essence, your activities underpin our reputation for quality, employability and responsiveness to market and national needs. Excellence in teaching reinforces the capacity of your department to offer qualifications. We also see examples where the high standard of our work is recognized by external stakeholders. The School of Accounting Sciences recently walked away with four awards during the International CIMA Excellence Award Ceremony. Well done! What makes a university good? Rankings, impact research, employable graduates, but what is holding all of this together? The answer is simple. Our most valuable resource, our staff. This is so important because how you view your role as an academic is not restricted to your classroom. It can be seen in people in the way we live, we speak and we act. It's inseparable from life. When we work together at the Northwest University, we do not try to be the best in everything. We try to be the best Northwest University with our own dream and staying true to our values. We want to deliver work of such a quality that it is internationally recognized. Whilst we are committed to social justice and in our work, we display an ethic of care. I want to leave you with the words of Michael Jackson from his song, The Man in the Mirror. 
If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Colleagues, thank you for your dedication and commitment. Thank you, Professor Linda. Now we can sit back and enjoy the awards. At this stage, it is important to explain to the viewers the prestigious nature and different outcomes of these awards. I invite Dr. Esprit Stradem to do this. Thank you, Provelli. Congratulations to all the 2020 award winners. Your awards attest to a rigorous process of self-reflection and peer review and are well deserved. The 2020 award winners are unique and distinct as you are the group that had to change flight in midstream. Your initial planning was based on face-to-face -face contact session and then COVID-19 erupted. You are indeed excellent lecturers as you have proven your abilities to rapidly adapt to a disruptive, ever-changing teaching and learning environment. The two categories for participation were the Emerging Teaching Excellence category aimed at the novice participant and or lecturers with only two years experience in higher education teaching. Three participants received an award in this category. The second category of participation was the Teaching Excellence category whereby a lecturer with more than three years teaching experience in higher education could participate. Lecturers can only participate in this category every third year. There were 53 participants in this category, of which 43 participants received awards. The awards criteria had to be amended in order to accommodate the emergency remote teaching modality of 2020. To provide a brief overview of the process, participants had to write a reflective portfolio supported by evidence based on the following criteria. A reflection on their own teaching philosophy underpinned by sound educational theories on teaching and learning. A reflection on the learning design of a particular module, which includes teaching practices and assessment. A reflection on the student voice and student engagement. And lastly, reflection on their professional development as a university teacher. These portfolios were evaluated by eight panels constituting faculty peers, previous award winners and academic developers from the Centre for Teaching and Learning. The results were moderated by an internal moderation panel that stated that the 2020 teaching award process was transparent, fair and valid. Thank you, Dr. Stradom. Now that we understand the significance of these awards, we will proceed to announce the first category, the Emerging Teaching Excellence Awards. We welcome Professor Sonia Swanepoel, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Economic Management Sciences, to present the Emerging Teaching Excellence Award. Mr. Frank Monoharatwe. We welcome Professor Herman van der Merwe, Deputy Dean Teaching and Learning from the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences to present the Emerging Teaching Excellence Award. Dr. Johannes Hugo van Skalkwijk. We welcome Professor David Mudise, Executive Dean, Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences, to present the Emerging Teaching Excellence Award. Mr. Ruan Stein. We proudly present the next category, which is the Teaching Excellence Awards. We welcome Professor Herman van Vieren, Deputy Dean Teaching and Learning from the Faculty of Education to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. Dr. Leti Boota.
Dr. Lou de Beer. Dr. Luisa de Sousa. Dr. Ivy Erasmus. Professor Mariki Havenga. Dr. Dorothy Loebscher. Dr. Elma Marais. Dr. Lynn Preston. Dr. Salumi Romulus. Dr. Peter Swartz. Dr. Wanda van der Merwe. Dr. Cornei van der Vijver. Dr. Elise Vos. We welcome Dr. Elise Kuhn, Deputy Dean, Community Engagement and Stakeholder Relations of the Faculty of Education to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. Dr. Byron Bunt. Mrs. Janet Chalmers. Dr. Rachel Mai Mele. We welcome Professor Marco Leroux, Director of the Center for Engineering Education from the Faculty of Engineering to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. Dr. Teresa Hatten. Mr. Werner Kaiser. We welcome back Professor Sonia Swanepoel, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, to present the Teaching Excellent Awards.
Dr. Debra Mokhojwa. Dr. Kelly Pochile Padi. We welcome Professor Avi Kotze, Executive Dean, Faculty of Health Sciences, to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. Mr. Kubis Oosthuysen. Prof. Ankebi Kreer. Dr. Leandi Lammertijn. Dr. Shani Leroux. Prof. Johan Potgieter. Mr. Ivy van Oort. We welcome Professor Luke Sandem, Acting Executive Dean, Faculty of Humanities, to present the Teaching Excellence Award. Dr. John de Tuey. Professor Johan Zaiman. In absentia, Dr. Ananka Loebscher. We welcome Ms. Rulin Roos, Director, Teaching and Learning Undergraduate Programs from the Faculty of Law. Prof. Elmin Duplessis. Dr. Alison Gedold. Dr. Germerie Viljoen. We welcome Professor David Mudise, Executive Dean, Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences, to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. <music> Professor Rolof Burger. <music> Prof. 
Professor Dirk Solia. Professor Rialet Peters. Professor Francis Siebert. Dr. Lindell Square. Dr. Annette van der Merwe. We welcome Professor François van der Westhuizen, Deputy Dean Research and Innovation from the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. Mrs. Wilma Kutsia. Dr. Sunay van der Linde. We welcome Professor Alfred Dunstan, Acting Coordinator Mafi King from the Faculty of Theology to present the Teaching Excellence Award. Dr. Philip de Toy. We welcome Dr. Henny Goede, Executive Dean, Faculty of Theology, to present the Teaching Excellence Awards. <music> Professor Freaks. <music> Dr. Anneli Yates. Congratulations again to all the Teaching Excellence Award recipients. This brings us to the highlight of the awards, which is the Distinguished Teaching Excellence Award. I again invite Professor Linda Duplessy, our Acting Vice-Chancellor, to explain to us the caliber of this award. She will then announce the 2020 Distinguished Teaching Excellence Award winner or winners. The Northwest University Distinguished Teaching Excellence Award, also referred to as the TIA, is the highest accolade awarded to academics as university teachers that honors exemplary teaching at the highest institutional level. As this is the most prestigious of all Teaching Excellence Awards at the university, candidates for commendation of this award submit a reflective portfolio of evidence documenting practice of teaching that shows growth and impact in their fields of teaching at the school, faculty, national or even international level. Each DTR nominee is evaluated on their distinct contribution to teaching and learning at the hand of criteria that include notable success in the scholarship of teaching, innovative strategies employed in teaching and learning, reflection on teaching and learning which reveals deep interrogation of the candidate's evolution of the teaching and learning practice. Institutional, national and international teaching learning presence is seen as an important aspect since it refers to the footprint and scholarship outside of the institution. 
institutional presence is recognized through curriculum and pedagogical development in the field of expertise and mentorship to younger academics. The candidate must have achieved faculty and institutional awards in teaching. National presence is recognized in their field or discipline by serving on boards of professional bodies, program evaluation panels, external examination or moderation, media presentations, guest lecturing at other higher education institutions and national and international conferences. Another criteria includes the candidate's deep reflection on the student voice with regard to trends in higher education. These trends may include decolonization, curriculum transformation and social justice. Finally, faculty leadership. Recognizing the candidate's faculty leadership contribution, acknowledging the candidate's leadership in terms of curriculum development in faculty and beyond. The TIA candidates were nominated by respective TIA panels after the evaluation of their reflective portfolios. The portfolios were then submitted to an external evaluation panel, followed by a presentation and interview by the external panel. In 2020, four participants were nominated for the TIA awards. They are from the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences, Professor Rulof Berger. From the Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Teresa Hatang. From the Faculty of Education, Dr. Alma Mare. And from the Faculty of Education, Dr. Salomi Romilis. Colleagues, if this was the four minute mile, two athletes would be crossing the finishing line together. As the external panel, recommended two candidates to be recognized as the DTR award winners. The winners are from the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences and the Faculty of Engineering. Our 2020 DTR winners are Professor Rulof Berger and Dr. Teresa Hatton. A very good evening to everyone who has joined us to celebrate such wonderful achievements. Firstly, I'd like to thank the Northwest University for their obvious commitment to teaching excellence. Thank you to my colleagues in the Faculty of Engineering and CTL and my students who create such a supportive environment that inspires me to do my best. And thank you to everyone for the thought and effort that made this evening so special. Receiving this award is a great honor and the highlight of my academic career. Tonight I'm reminded of the responsibility and privilege of being a lecturer and the difference that we are able to make in the world. As recipients of this award, I'd like to take up the challenge of motivating all lecturers to nurture, encourage, develop and energize our NWU students, our future. Thank you for this most uh, prestigious award. Um, as the collective teaching effort was the central theme of my um, portfolio, I have to acknowledge and uh, appreciate the contribution of all the colleagues in geography across all three campuses. Thank you for making uh, teaching a pleasure for me. Um, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the participants. If I, um, we will honor this uh, nomination uh, from CTL and uh, totally embrace any effort that brings together uh, teachers from the Northwest University to sit around and share uh, tips and how we can can be better at our job. So thank you for this. A hearty word of congratulations on this achievement. You are now officially the Northwest University Ambassadors for Excellent Teaching. Thank you, Prof. Linda and congratulations to the two DTR recipients. In closing, we invite our Deputy Vice-Chancellor Teaching and Learning, Professor Robert Balfour, to conclude their function with appreciation to all the role players. 
Thank you, Vili. Thank you all for watching this prestigious Teaching Learning virtual event and for your continuous support to teaching and learning throughout the year. I would like to extend a special vote of thanks to the following colleagues. Prof. Linda Duplessis, Acting Vice-Chancellor, Prof. Marilyn Settler-Ntour, our campus DVC for operations at Mayhiking Campus, Prof. Daryl Balia, our campus DVC for operations at the Potrostrom Campus. Thank you also to the eight faculty executive deans, the deputy deans teaching and learning, the 2020 TEA participants and spouses, the directors and staff of the T Center for Teaching and Learning, Prof. Willi van Vollenhoeven, our chief director for the Center for Teaching and Learning, Dr. Esmeri Stradum from the Directorate for Specialized Projects and Research in Higher Education, Ms. Monique Kutan, the Awards Coordinator and Campus Coordinator on the Potrostrum Campus, Mr. Jean Fulun, the Campus Administrator at the Potrostrum Campus, Dr. Raymond Emakaku, the Campus Coordinator, and Ms. Natalia Daker, the Campus Administrator at the Mahiking Campus. Dr. Manuela Fernandez Martins, the Campus Coordinator, and Ms. Memory Smit, the Campus Administrator at the Val Campus and a special vote of thanks to the eight different panels who evaluated the various portfolios of evidence online. Also a special acknowledgement to the internal moderation panel for conducting the moderation under rather unprecedented circumstances. Ms. Karen Fuluden from Graphicos for designing the invitation and New Sound Productions for the production of this video. A special vote of thanks to Ms. Luzelle von Rensburg for coordinating this exemplary virtual event. Thank you, Professor Balfour. Colleagues, thank you for attending this virtual awards function. Well done to all participants. Now it is time to pour the champagne and celebrate with your family and friends. Good night. The Northwest University is renowned for teaching excellence, with a long-standing and continuous aim towards excellence in teaching and learning. The Northwest University was ranked as one of the best teaching and learning performing universities in South Africa over the past few years. It's really an opportunity, these rankings and ratings, to measure ourselves in terms of our peers and to acknowledge that NWU features prominently internationally as well as nationally for teaching learning excellence. Being at the forefront of teaching excellence and innovation has led to the demand for more distinct university teaching awards. The changing higher education landscape necessitated the rethinking of teaching excellence in the wake of the fourth industrial revolution. Over the past two years, CTL, in collaboration with previous teaching awards winners and faculty members, have benchmarked, researched and developed a brand new set of awards to showcase teaching excellence in technological innovation in the classroom and online environment. One of the important aspects of being an academic is communicating the subject discipline. It's a process that increasingly relies on technology. It relies on an awareness of curriculum and design principles. Recognition of excellence in the classroom is very much in the moment. We see its impact on the results and how our students perform, but it's also an institutional opportunity, a university opportunity. With six new teaching awards and a larger group of multidisciplinary academics, the Teaching Excellence Awards now offers a more diverse group of participants within the institution to have their efforts recognized. The Novice Teacher Award recognizes exceptional novice university teachers. Faculty-specific teaching is awarded through the Faculty Teaching Award. The Online Teaching Award recognizes outstanding online teaching champions. Excellence in the innovative integration of information and communications technology in teaching is awarded the Innovation in Teaching and Learning with ICT Award. The Innovative Teaching and Learning Award awards participants for showcasing innovative teaching and learning practices. And finally, the most prestigious of all, the University Teaching Excellence Award, recognizing distinguished scholars in teaching and learning at the NWU 
who are role models of exceptional teaching. So, if you are in pursuit of excellence and advancement as a university teacher or a teaching and learning trailblazer, take action and participate in a Teaching Excellence Award that suits your context.